In this video, I'll teach you how to use the Quilt Gimbal controls to smoothly move and rotate your selection around the world. To use the gimbal, start by selecting an object. If the gimbal controls aren't showing, press the analog stick on the right controller. Or, you can toggle them on and off in the transform window here. By grabbing one of the arrows with the right grip, you can grab and move an object along that axis. By grabbing the square, you can move the object flatly along the axis from all directions. By grabbing the circle, you can rotate it. By grabbing the rotation ring with the trigger rather than the grip, your rotation will snap, allowing you to turn your model incrementally. You can adjust the transform steps here. By grabbing the arrow with the trigger rather than the grip, you can move the pivot point. If you try to rotate after the pivot is moved, you'll see the head moves from that new point. You can also move the pivot more freeform by reaching to the center where the white circle is and pulling the trigger to move the pivot wherever you'd like. By selecting strokes, the pivot will automatically appear in the center of whatever is currently selected. So if you turn the head and then select it, the pivot will still appear from the center like this. It will always appear parallel to the world grid. If you have multiple objects in the scene like this, and you select them both, the pivot will be between them. The pivot will always try to go in between all objects that are currently selected. While an object is selected, you can hold down the left trigger while gripping to duplicate it. By pressing redo on the right controller, you can create endless copies all with an equal distance between them.